guys, Susie here, and I'm going to show you how to write a blog post super easily using artificial intelligence. So um, I might have done some videos on Jarvis already. It's an awesome tool that helps you generate content faster and quicker. And just to let you know, um, a good disclaimer is it doesn't create everything for you. You kind of have to prep it and prime it and work with it. It's your assistant. It's not your complete writer and editor, but it makes creating content so much faster. And I just found something really cool as I was using it. Um, and I really want to show that to you guys and hopefully it, it works again. Um, but Jarvis has this new feature where it has some recipes where it's not for food vloggers really thought it was thought that was pretty cool. Write my recipes for me, mix some flour with some marshmallows. I don't know. Um, but it's actually recipes with a list of commands. And this is the recipe that Jarvis follows to help you generate content. So I'm going to dive into it. Hopefully I discovered something cool that's not just in the recipe, but that kind of Jarvis just does. And I think it's really awesome. And I want to show you. So let's get into it. If you like this tool, if you think it's pretty awesome, I do have my affiliate link below. I get a small commission. If you sign up, it's no extra extra cost to you. It just helps me out. So thank you in advance. If you like it, the link is down below to sign up for Jarvis. All right, let's get into it. Come on. All right. So first I am going to go to Jarvis and log in. You guys use the link below. <laughs> um, all right. So this is the Jarvis interface can do a ton of different types of content writing for you, help you out. Um, help you generate content faster, either for your own blog or for your agency. If you have a business or you're a virtual assistant and you do it for other people, right? I know a lot of people that actually use Jarvis to sell their gigs on Fiverr. So cool idea there too. Okay. Recipes. We're going to go into that. I'm going to click on a new recipe or I'm just going to click down here. I'm going to scroll down here and start from a featured recipe. Click on blog post. We're going to start with that because I've been using like the intro of it but then not much of the rest of it. It kind of unlocked this little thing for me. So I'm going to hopefully it works again. It was pretty, pretty awesome. All right. So we are going to write about back to school tips for kids and parents because it's back to school time. Woohoo! And a lot of my audience are mom bloggers and they blog about parenting tips and issues, right? And we're all thinking about kids going back to school. All right. So we're going to use this recipe. It's a list of commands that Jarvis writes and follows. So, um, two commands or keyboard keyboard shortcuts that I use is control enter. Um, that actually executes a command and then control J just makes Jarvis write some more. Um, all the pro tips and the training is here on the side. They have tons of awesome training that you can use. All right. So we're going to go in here, write a brief topic for back to school tips for kids and parents. I'm going to do control enter. And then back to school, there are many things you should take into consideration back to school. Okay. Awesome. I like that. I'm just going to copy that and put that in here. And then I'm going to have write blog post titles for back to school tips for kids and parents. And I'm just going to put my cursor there. If you put your cursor in the middle of a sentence, it's going to start executing this command. So make sure to put it at the end. Otherwise, it's going to start generating content. And it's going to look a little gibberish. So control enter. What's in your back to school bag? Backpack for kids, a guide. How important is a lunchbox? Back to school time. Uh, I'm going to try to do that again. Can do control Z. Back to school tips for kids and parents. Write a blog title ideas for back to school. Okay, maybe that will make a difference. Control enter. Cool. I like back to school checklist. Something like that. Or maybe supplies. Either one. All of them can work. Okay, let's just gonna take this one. I want to delete that. Okay. Write an introduction for back to school tips for kids and parents. Control enter. All right. That's awesome. We have a good intro. I'm just going to delete this. 
I'm going to have it write the outline. And if I don't like it, I'm going to show you this little trick that I think I found. Maybe other people have found it before. Maybe I'm not so unique, but I think it was pretty cool. Write a blog post outline for back to school tips for kids and parents. Really should have taken a shorter keyword. Okay. Okay, kind of, kind of okay, but here is where I want to see if this feature that I found works again. So I'm going to create a list, back to school tips. And if this is your topic, you probably have 10 tips right off the bat, right? Um, if you talk to parents about school supplies and all that, then you can come up with a quick list. So let's try to do that. Um, make sure to prep for lunches. Um, Check that all kids' outfits out fits fit properly. Um, practice getting ready for school and ready and driving to school. That's a good probably if kids are nervous, maybe you can have a little practice run. Um, get all school supplies. Meet up with a friend before school starts. Maybe that could just get them excited. Okay, so I came up with a little list of tips for parents and kids for back to school. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the first one and I'm gonna make it an H2. And then I'm gonna use this command and I'm jumping all over the place here. Right about um, preparing lunches for back to school. All right, I'm gonna do control enter. All right, I'm gonna do, take the last one away. I want Jarvis to kind of see what I'm, what I'm doing here. I'm gonna take the next one. Check that all kids' outfits fit properly. H2. I'm do control J and see what happens. I'm do control J again. Let Jarvis write. Let's see if it practice getting ready and driving to school, right? That's one of our thingies. That's number three. Make that an H2. And I'm just do control J here. Let's just see what it comes up with. Let's see if it goes down the list. Control J again. Get all the school supplies, it's doing it. It's doing it, this is so cool. All right, so I'm just gonna make it nice and clean so you guys can see what's going on here. Cause I think it's pretty awesome. We're gonna make this an H2 again. You can see, get all school supplies. There's number four there. Okay, let's just add a little bit more. Okay, what's another one? Give me another tip for going back to school. Um, um, pick out the first day of school outfit. All right, let's see if, it's on number four right now, let's see if it goes to number five and six. Do just control J, control J again. Let's see. Oh, I did it, meet up with a friend before school starts. Oh my goodness. Obviously, I'm going to go back and read through all this and make sure it makes sense and that I agree with it and that it's factual. Um, but man, it is literally just going. Cool. Okay. Meet up with a friend before school starts. That's one that we had here. Get all school supplies. Let's see where we are. Meet up with a friend. Pick out the first day of school outfit. So it doesn't get that one. I got this one. So I wonder, because we added this last one, maybe we should go ahead and make our entire list and then have Jarvis generate the content. Maybe maybe that helped a little bit more. But it got all five, and then this one I added later. But it made up its own one. Share your plans and concerns with other parents. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to add that to my list not make it bold, make it unbold. How cool is that? All right, so I'm gonna delete 
this. Here we have our intro. We have a little list. You can either keep that there or delete it. That was kind of the help for Jarvis. And then it wrote this, this blog post. Oh my goodness. Um, that's at 800 words. Let's do write a blog conclusion on, we can either do those items, list them out, write a blog conclusion on back to school tips for parents and kids. Okay. So control enter cause it's executing command and not just writing. Okay. If we don't like something, then we can delete it and have Jarvis try again and do a control J. I think that one was a great concluding sentence. Awesome. And that's 944 words with in 10 minutes. That's pretty awesome. Obviously go back, check the work, make sure it all makes sense. Fact check it. Um, but nothing else in 10 minutes. I have over 900 words that can help me now go back and fill it out and give more content to it and interlink with other blog posts. So pretty darn awesome. I mean, here, I'm just gonna close. Little couple tips that I've learned. Um, as you use, as you write the article in Jarvis, make sure to put in your headings because it actually shows the AI robot Jarvis that this is important and we're gonna write about this. But I mean, Give me a little thumbs up if you like this video, if you think that was pretty cool with creating the list and then Jarvis literally wrote the blog post, which you would need to go check and make sure everything works well um, and is accurate. But pretty awesome as a first draft to make you and help you create content faster. Because I know blogging as a mom or writing blog posts day after day can get tedious and gets hard and it's a lot of work, right? But hey, if you have something like this to at least just get those creative juices flowing, then it helps. All right. So again, I'm Susie. If you need any help starting your own blog, I have multiple courses, no matter where you are on your journey. Also, if you like this tool called Jarvis to help you create content faster, my affiliate links are below. So thank you so much. Leave a comment if you have, if, leave a comment if you have any questions and you know, not a great YouTuber, but I can write some content. All right. See you guys later. Bye.